Okay, we also have one more concept called the concept of mean proportion. Now, what do you mean by mean proportion? We know that A by B and C by D, suppose they are equal, we say A, B, C and D are in proportion. But suppose A by B and you have B by C and they are equal. Now, what is the difference between this and this? You have the consequent of the first ratio and the antecedent of the second ratio. They are repeating themselves. This is repetition. So basically, there are only three terms, A, B and C. And here B is being repeated as first as a consequent of the first ratio and again as an antecedent of the second ratio. In such a case, we say that they are in continued proportion. We say A, B, C are in continued proportion, which also means that B square is equal to A, C if you cross multiply. Now, in that case, we say B is the geometric mean of A and C. In simple words, if we find, have to find the geometric mean of two terms, simply multiply them and find the square root. So, in simple words now, suppose this particular example is what we have over here. X is the mean proportional of A and B. Now, mean proportional, mind you, is the same as geometric mean. If I say A is the geometric mean of, say, X and Y, it also means that A is the mean proportional of X and Y. So, if X is a mean proportional of A and B, then what means? It means that there are two ways of doing it. Either it means that A by X is equal to X by B. That means A, X and B are in continued proportion, which means that X square is equal to A, B. That's for all. In other words, X is equal to root A, B. Let's take, suppose you want to find the mean proportional of 9 and 16. Mean proportional could also mean geometric mean. So what do we do? Mean proportion is nothing but square root of 9 and 16. So suppose x is a mean proportional. x is equal to root 9 into 16 which is going to be root 144 which is 12. So the mean proportional of 9 and 16 is 12. We have umpteen number of such examples to find the mean proportional. Let's move on further. Okay, now let's see how we can apply this. The mean proportional between 25 and 81 is what among these? We need how to use the process of elimination, the simple compu uh, computation that we need to do. So the mean proportional x in this case is nothing but square root of 25 into 81 because if you want to find the mean proportional of 25 and 81, Either you say x square equal to 25 into 81, which is the same as telling x equal to root 25 into 81. Root 25 is 5 and it is root 81, 9, 5 into 9, 45. So the mean proportion of 25 and 81 is 45. Do we have it right? Let's check it. Oh yes, we do have it. Let's check the next set of problems or the next one. Okay, now let's we have here the mean proportional between 1.4 grams and 5.6 grams. You see, we continue the same exercise. We find x as a mean proportional is going to be root 1.4 into 5.6. How do we do this? We can write it as root 14 into 56 upon 10 upon 10 we can write this as 14 into 4 into 14 because 56 is 4 into 14 upon 100 and square root of this and hence 14 square which is 14 square root of 14 square square root of 4 which is 2 square root of 100 which is 10 so it's 28 by 10 which is 2.8 so, the mean proportion between 1.4 grams and 5.6 grams is nothing but 2.8 grams. Again, remember, see that you check the units. The units have to be taken care of. If this is given in kilograms, you need to convert it to grams and then you can convert, find the mean proportion. So, you have to be a little extra alert over there. 
So hence, we have the mean proportional as 2.8 grams. Let's check whether we have it right here. And yes, the mean proportional is 2.8 grams. Let's see what is in store for us as the next problem. 